y'all what's up it's your girl nye and this is slay the renee way a place where passionate entrepreneurs can come to grow glow and succeed in their small businesses so if that sounds like you go ahead and hit that subscribe button because your girl is dropping gym after gym after gym today is day six of our 12 days of business series and today i'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can create and sell blank journals on amazon in less than 30 minutes okay it's literally going to take us 30 minutes of vision and some work and we're going to get this book published to amazon okay? so if you guys have been keeping up with the series on our 12 days of business you did just see me post this video where i gave you guys a bunch of different passive income ideas and publishing an ebook to Amazon KDP was one of my favorite, favorite, favorite ideas. So what makes Amazon KDP so special? You guys, Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing is what KDP stands for. KDP allows you to self-publish ebooks, hardcovers, and paperbacks for free. Now you are giving Amazon Kindle direct exclusive rights to publish your book and sell it on Kindle, which means they will be taking a percentage, but they don't charge you to do so. And that's why it's a game changer, okay? If you've always wanted to sell like a journal, a notebook, an ebook, and you don't really know where to go to sell it, Amazon KDP is that girl. So that's what I'm about to teach you guys how to do today. We're going to be using Canva to design our books and we're going to be publishing them to Amazon KDP. So if you're a beginner, this tutorial is for you because I'm going to walk you guys through step by step. Okay, so first things first, you guys, we need to go head over to Amazon KDP. You want to type in kdp.amazon.com, open up that website. You're going to have to go ahead and create yourself an account. That's the very first thing that you will do when you get to Amazon KDP is you will create yourself an account. I've already done so, so I'm already logged in. But once you log in, here are the next steps. It's going to say create, manage, and publish. Publish a new title by clicking create. So we're going to click the button create. And you got a couple of different options. What would you like to create? You can publish a Kindle ebook. You can do a paperback, a hardcover, or you can do a series page. What we are doing today is we're going to be doing a paperback. So let's go ahead and click create paperback. Here's what your next screen will look like. Now we have to go ahead and enter all of our paperback details in. I'm going to show you guys how to do exactly that. So the language is going to be English. Our book title, we want to come up with the book title that we know will rank in search. So for example, if we are publishing a book that is children's letters A through Z tracing book, that will be the title because that is something that someone will be searching for on Amazon. In today's example, we're going to be creating a gratitude journal. I'll show you guys how you can actually use Amazon to do your research and determine what is a good niche for you to create your journals in. So basically use the search bar that is on Amazon. I'm going to search gratitude journal for women. Keep in mind these are low content books so we don't want to have to do a ton of work to create these books but we do want them to be able to be ranked in search and actually purchased. So you will go through and see how many search results do you see for a gratitude journal for women? I typically say if it's less than, say, 20,000, that's a pretty good niche. Over 20,000, obviously, the competition is super high in that niche. Under 10 or 20,000, that's perfect. So we have 8,000 search results on Amazon for a gratitude journal for women. So basically, you just scroll through and look at what your competition is. You're doing your research. Um, I see some five-minute gratitude journals. I see a gratitude journal for women, a daily five minute guide. It's looking like a five minute guide is the way to go. I also see a 52 week inspirational guide. Okay, give thanks to the Lord. You get a handle on what the covers look like, what the pricing is like. Just get a feel for what you are up against when you do create your journal because you want to stand out and you do want your journal to be unique. So let's see. Okay, this is a really cute one. I like this. So you, you want to scroll down past the description of the journal that you're looking at and you want to click see all details. So under the see all details button, you will be able to see that they are in a bestseller rank number one, 135,059 in books. So we're going to copy that number and we're going to go to Google. We're going to type in Amazon bestsellers calculator. You can use any one of these links. I'm just going to click the first one. They're free to use most of them. Okay, so now this is an Amazon sales estimator. What this is going to do is give us the, the amount of average monthly sales this particular person is making so that we can see. So let's go ahead and type in that number. Their marketplace is United States. The product category is, let's go back and let's see what category. Okay, the category is books. So let's go down. Okay, so as you guys can see, this particular book owner is estimated to be making about 30 sales a month based on what their best seller rank number is. So let's go back and see what their journal was priced as. 
their journal is priced at seven dollars so their journal is priced at seven dollars and if they're selling about 30 a month that means they're, ma they're making a little bit over two thousand dollars which i think is pretty good for selling one book okay that's really really good so we're going to take this inspiration we're going to jump over to canva and we are going to recreate our own gratitude journal and we're going to publish it to amazon kdp so once you're in canva we are going to work on creating a notebook so we want to type in create a design and we want to search for notebook you want to click the first one it's going to open us up to a blank, a blank workspace you guys what we're going to work on first is we're going to create the pages of the inside of our journal i like to do the pages first and then the cover last so let's go ahead and we can also so let's go ahead and do our pages since this is a gratitude journal you want to have a space for people to write a couple of different things that they are grateful for for that day a space to write the date and maybe if we want this book to be a 52 week book we're going to be creating about 108 pages so here's my plan let's go and first add some text to the top I'm going to add a text box let's change this font okay so we have the word gratitude I don't really like that font though so let's change that you have the header of your book already established and you decide on the colors the different fonts and things like that Keep in mind, you guys, you can do anything that you want to do. This is your book, okay? I've got the zero one one because it's going to be week one, and then I've got daily gratitude. Now, this page will be the same for every single page. So next, we want to go ahead and add a space for, for someone to write the date. We just need a blank line. Okay, so now let's drag this. Okay, so you have the option to be able to adjust the width of your line. So right now, it's at a line weight four. Let's make this a line weight two. And now I'm just going to like rotate this so that it's a little bit slanted. And that way we have, you know, the space in between writing our date. So now change that to two. And then plus duplicate. And now that looks a little bit big to me, you guys. So I'm going to highlight everything. And then I'm going to just make it a little bit smaller. So if you zoom in, you're able to make things a lot smaller. So now I can just do it like that. We don't want it to be too big okay so now we have a space for our date at the top of our page now the next thing we do is we're going to create our prompts that say today I am grateful for so you're just going to again add another text box we're going to change that font to the same font that we used previously and I'm just going to write today I am grateful for and I want everything to be centered so I'm going to do we're going to have three on one page and four on another. Next, we need to go back and add our lines again. And once you see me do this once, this process is going to be repeated. So don't worry. I got you. We're not going to have to do this every single time. So here's our line. Just extend that on either side. We're going to move this up. And duplicate this twice. And those purple lines that you see appearing on the side, those are your friend, you guys. Those will help you to know that everything is in alignment okay we want everything to be as neat as possible okay so there we go today I am grateful for let's move that up a little bit okay now what we will do is we will select all of this and we will duplicate it again and duplicate it again okay so we're gonna have three on the first page and then we'll have four on the next page so that covers an entire week of seven days these are the sides of our book that have three lines that have three sections for us to write today I'm grateful for we actually needed to do that 52 times and we'll do our other page another 52 times so as you, we're gonna edit page two so that we can make the flip side of our book so let me zoom out we're still in week one so all I'm going to do for page two, you guys, is I'm going to move this up a little bit. Okay, here's another important thing I want to show you. If you notice, there are numbers that are appearing above when I'm moving something. That will let me know the exact measurement between everything. That will let me know whether or not I'm off or I'm, if I'm centered. So this is about right. And now I'm just going to duplicate that one more time and make sure that it is equidistant there we go okay so now this would be our second page where we have four spaces to write today I'm grateful for so now what we're going to do is go back to grid view and we're gonna take page two and we're gonna duplicate page two 52 more times because that is going to be the flip side of our book are you following me y'all following me okay so now I'm going to press duplicate 
and then you make sure you want to drag that so that it's on the opposite end of the other page okay so that when you open your book you have three lines on this page and four spaces on this page I hope that's making sense so I'm going to duplicate this again and this is going to take some time but it's okay because at least we're not having to make all these pages again and again and again so I'm going to duplicate all these pages and I'll come right back. Okay, so we just went through and duplicated all of our second pages and added them in between the first page. So here's what it looks like. There is 104 pages, you guys. And as you can see, it's alternating pages. So be very detailed in this and make sure that you don't misplace the page and make sure that they are in between every single page. So let's exit the grid view and now we have to go through and edit all of the weeks. Okay, so you have to go down every single other page and change this 01 to whatever week you're on. So this is page 104, this is week 52. So this page 103 should also be week 52. Y'all following what I'm doing here? So then this is week 51. Okay, so here on page three, we are currently in week two. So I'm gonna put zero two, zero two, and as you can see, and so forth and so on. But now that we're done creating the inside of our pages, now let's move on to making the cover look for a template of, of Amazon KDP paperback so template of Amazon KDP cover okay so they're going to give you different templates and we're going to use those dimensions to put into our workspace over on Canva okay so if you want to set up a file yourself try our cover calculator and template generator so let's use that the binding type is a paperback the interior is black and white um, I'm sorry standard color the paper type, white paper, page turn direct or right to left, I'm sorry. And then the measurement units are in inches, interior trim size, so we're going to do 8.5 by 11, that's our size. And then the page count is 104. Let's go ahead and download our template, okay. And the total width and height is 17.484 by 11.25. Okay guys, sorry, my camera ended up dying, so I'm having to do a voiceover. But essentially what we're going to do is go to Canva create our workspace with the dimensions that we got from the template that we downloaded. You're going to upload that template you downloaded and drag that onto your workspace. This is going to be like the basis and the guide to help us create our cover. We want to make sure that everything is within Amazon KDP's guidelines so that when they go and print it, everything is the way that it's supposed to be. So I'm going to set this as the background and I'm going to create like a, a pink square just to make the background of our entire project pink. And I'm going to lower the transparency of this so I can see the template underneath of it. While I'm working, I'm going to go ahead and change the title. I'm coming up with a title that is just for example purposes. I think I did gratitude journal for her or something like that. But you pretty much will make the title of your book whatever you see fit. Make sure you use some of the keywords that you're going to be including in the title so that when your customer is searching for the book, they actually see the name or a keyword on the title in the cover and you can get creative you guys you can design your cover however you want like I said use Amazon as your research tool go around and make sure that you're looking to see what the competition is like and make sure that yours is going to stand out on that search results page so I'm pretty much just designing my cover I changed the background to like this tannish color and then I changed the for her to a darker pink I feel like that is very suiting for the women and then I'm adding some graphical line art elements a couple of plants Mm, then I think I changed my mind and I went, ended up going with a line art that resembles a woman or like women's hands or something like that. But I'm just showing you guys the options in the process. Use your creativity here. Get as creative as you see fit. I played around deciding whether or not I wanted this to be pink and I ended up leaving it black. I feel like this simple statement looks nice. I thought I was going to add a heart, and I think I ended up did keeping this heart. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much me just designing the cover and showing you guys how you can use Canva to create your cover for your journal. Make sure that when you export it, you download it as a PDF print. You want it to be in the highest quality possible for when you're going to print. And the same thing for the inside pages, download as a PDF print. Okay, make sure it's PDF print. And then we're going back to Amazon KDP, and we're going to type in our book title again make sure you're using keywords in the title think of what someone will be searching for if they were looking for your book and then we're scrolling down you don't need a series or an edition number you obviously are the author of your book so include your entire name or if you're using an alias that's fine if you have a contributor go ahead but if not skip that part as well type your description 
publishing rights, click that. And then your primary audience, make sure that you select who your primary audience is if there is for, you know, young children. Primary marketplace is going to be in the U.S. And then your category. So I had a little bit of a hard time figuring out which category this goes into. But I think I ended up realizing that it's a self-help because it's within like that motivation and journal prompt um, category. So that's the category that I ended up selecting. And here's me just selecting all the categories that I see fit and then save changes. I think you can select three different categories to put your book in. Okay, guys, we are almost done. The last thing you need to do is enter your keywords, your publication date, and your release date. If that is applicable, click save and continue. And then we're going to go ahead and upload the cover and the inside pages of the book. Make sure you select whether or not you want this to be printed in black or white or if you want color. And again, just keep filling out all the information that they're asking you. You make sure you take your time doing this. Now we're about to upload our manuscript. And I make sure that I save this as a PDF file that is best for printing. Amazon requires your quality to be like top notch or they won't even print your book. So make sure you save it as PDF print. Same thing with the cover. And then after you do that, you can pretty much go ahead and launch the previewer. Make sure that you like the way your book looks on the previewer before you go ahead and click save and continue to publish. And after this page, you will pretty much go in into your pricing. I did not get to record that part, unfortunately, but you will be entering your pricing and Amazon will show you if your price is $19.95, what percent of royalties you will earn. So I think if it's about $19, you'll get about $8 per sale. So Okay, you guys, and that pretty much concludes this tutorial. After you've gone ahead and uploaded your book and your cover to Amazon KDP, Amazon will do the remainder of the work for you. We just created our very own gratitude journal using Canva and Amazon KDP, which are both free resources that you can use to be making hundreds if not thousands of dollars a month. Definitely follow through all the steps that I have given you guys. If you missed something or if I moved a little bit too quickly for you, go ahead and rewind this tutorial and go back to the beginning and watch very carefully. I am wishing you guys the best of luck on your money making journey. Comment down below let me know if you guys like this tutorial if you, and if you want more tutorials showing you guys how to make low content books and publishing them to Amazon KDP, let me know. But if you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because we are on our road to 100k you guys. Help me to reach my goal by subscribing, sharing, liking, and commenting. Any engagement does the channel wonders and I really genuinely appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow in day 7 of our 12 days of business. Love you guys so much. Peace. Mm -hmm.